Hey, hey. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. This is a little bit different, isn't it, Ben? Yeah, this is the first uh, video that we've done which is not entirely about pedals. We're venturing into other gear this time. Yeah. Um, what inspired this video, Ben? So, uh, a lot of you probably watch uh, That Pedal Show. Uh, that other channel, which you know, our sister channel, yeah. <laughs> now, our rivals <laughs> were hoping to start a massive feud. Uh, this will do it, yeah. If yeah, anything is gonna, yeah, we want some major beef, we want other channels involved, we want everyone making videos about it and discussing it. Yeah, no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we have no problem with that pedal show. Uh, well, there's one particular <laughs> video. <laughs> uh, I watched it first, didn't I? The video in question. Yes. They did a uh, budget rig challenge video, and uh, I was very excited when I saw um, the title appear in my feed on YouTube and thought, wow, this is going to be good. And uh, they, they gave it a go. It was interesting. Wasn't it, it was very interesting. To be fair to them, they did the best that they thought they could, uh, I'm sure. However, um, their idea of budget and, I would say, our idea of budget are very different things. <laughs> so, what I, what I, well, I watched it first and then you saw it afterwards and yeah. our mutual rage and frustration... <laughs> <laughs> I think we kind of, we kind of both agreed that they'd maybe missed the mark a little bit. Yes, um, possibly in certain areas. For, yeah. First of all, I think their budget was like five hundred. I don't think they even set out with a particular budget in mind. I think that was their first mistake. Oh, to okay. be fair, I think they 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 slipped up there. But by the time they finished, one of the rigs in particular was like eleven hundred pounds. Twelve hundred pounds, I think, maybe pushing. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it was. That's not. That's not my idea of a budget rig. So uh, I figured, what, what what other videos are there on YouTube that uh, might offer a, a better idea of a, of a budget rig? What you can get on a really strict financial budget, and there aren't many. Uh, would you like to know how much the lowest budget? How much is, is the lowest budget on YouTube video? that I could find? Five hundred pounds. Okay, so we'll get some smart Alec in the comments <laughs> linking it for a, a fifty pound. <laughs> well, yeah. So as you already know from the title of this video, two hundred pounds is our is our idea of a budget. Yeah. We've decided to make life quite hard for ourselves. We're going to give it a go. Yeah, <laughs> we think we can do it. What are the rules, or what's uh, okay, what, what so are we doing? It's got to be loud enough to gig. Yeah, okay. Or, or at least be heard over a drummer. Right. At the very least. That's fair. Yeah. Um, we want one guitar. Yes. One amp. Right. And as many pedals as the budget allows. Okay. <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah. Um. Probably not many. But... No, I wouldn't imagine that. Yeah, well, I suppose what what kind of um, genre music that somebody would be playing with this rig as well would probably be an important fact, something yeah. to factor in. Um, it's some... probably best that. I mean, neither of us have a great knowledge of metal. <laughs> True. I would say this just this should be a fairly all encompassing, versatile yeah, yeah. as much as as rig. much as you can. Yeah, as much as we can. Um, not much more to be said, really, I suppose. Let's no, just no, no. Uh, get on with it. Is there any equipment that is banned? Oh, oh, you have reminded... <laughs> no, I don't think there should be anything that's banned. You could just have free reign to, be, to okay, get whatever right, you want. Then. Second okay. hand, you can buy second hand. Oh, yes, yeah. Doing this brand new is almost impossible. In fact, I would say it is impossible. Yeah. Part of the reason we wanted to do this as well is a lot of people that... Oh, I've... <laughs> what's up? That um, I've spoken to are sometimes a little bit squeamish about buying second hand. Um... And I've no idea why, because the majority of my gear is second hand. Uh, Same. Perfectly honest with you. There's very, very few things that I've bought ever bought brand new. Yeah, I've I've not um, I've hardly ever had any horror stories. So, so part part of why we wanted to do this is to just demonstrate the kind of things, the kind of bargains that you really can get second hand if you are willing to put a bit more time and effort into looking and sort of scaring eBay and Gumtree and places like that. Yeah. Um you know because you you don't have to 
buy your gear from PMT or <laughs> yeah. Guitar Centre or wherever. And wherever I, you I go. think at a fair point as well, there's a lot of the places, a lot of the uh, channels that do these videos, that they are sponsored by or they are yeah. um, also trying to promote their own kind of shop or something yeah, or that they're attached to. certain gear that you know they're, they're asked to push. Yeah, you know, so yeah. there's all that kind of stuff to factor in as well. So we are completely independent from all that kind yeah. of stuff. So We, are we basically... have nowhere near enough subscribers for people <laughs> to be sending us stuff. <laughs> um, if only. Yeah, oh, that'd but, be lovely. Wouldn't yeah, it? but you know, that benefits you though if we are able to be completely objective and... In, and uh, unbiased yeah so uh yeah. yeah so i think i think we're we're gonna make a, a little bit of sort of a video diary of our purchases yeah i think i might uh i've got yeah i've got a few things in in mind already that i yeah routes that i want to take <laughs> i'm still a little bit in the dark at the moment i'm not really sure of the direction i'm gonna go i've i've thought of something we'll else see. we'll see i've thought of something else if we already own something ah, yes that's a good idea that we want to use as part of the budget yeah i think that should be allowed as long as we remember or know for sure how much we originally paid for it yeah or how much it's worth yeah. how much it costs to buy them on yeah, okay. ebay for instance yeah i can live with that yeah i think that's that's fair i think because ultimately everything that we're going to be using if people want to copy us they're going to be doing that anyway. They're, going to, they're not going to yeah, be like, oh, true. I want to buy yeah. that exact thing that you're yeah. using right there. <laughs> like they're going to go yeah. and buy their own. I mean, to version. be fair, to be fair, stuff does have a value on eBay, doesn't it? Like, Generally um, speaking, yeah. I mean, there's going to be variations, but when you look at completed listings, there's generally like a price that roughly most of these yeah. things will go for around. Like, exactly. I think that's what we could. We yeah, should, we yeah. should use that okay. as a measure. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. Cool. Yeah. Let's get cracking. Okay, hi. Uh, this is my uh, little documentary behind the scenes bit. Uh, I'm on my way to pick up an amp. It's it's something that uh, I was not expecting to win for within my budget, but I guess I got lucky with the time of day um and i guess i don't know a couple of other things it's collection only and it's quite close to me so yeah i got pretty lucky with this thing and i'm gonna go pick it up and uh yeah stay tuned uh, okay i am back it was a fairly short journey actually it was quite local that was useful and uh, I am extremely happy uh, with what I have managed to procure for myself. Um, no doubt you're anxious to see what it is, and uh, I'm anxious to show you. So, let me just move the seat uh, out of the way. You know what? No, I'm just going to show you from here. So, yeah, Black Star. It is a Black Star. I... Uh, ID Core Stereo 150. Uh, it has got a whole bunch of cool stuff. It's got all of the amp models that you'd expect from a digital modeling amplifier. It has got some uh, effects over here, which you can program via computer. It's got a USB socket on the back. Um, and yeah, you can then store save presets and what whatever um it does a lot of stuff and it sounds amazing the quality of the effects and the sound of the distortion and amp models and everything it's really great um i will give you some kind of a uh, uh audio demo at some point um oh and <laughs> with it i have got the standard Two channel foot switch that you would have expected to get a bit brand new and also the extension or the expanded version of that pedal um five foot switches a little bit heavier um has the uh, screen as well so you've got um you can use it as a tuner it shows you the uh, what um note you're in on the screen and uh, obviously presets and things 
very very useful so you can see at a glance what uh, preset you've got on and uh, things like that it also has an extension output so you can put the original foot switch next to it and have seven foot switches how cool is that um and then you can program on the computer uh, if you hook it up uh, via the usb you can program all of the uh, switches to do different different things and refine refine it a little bit more which is really cool um let's talk money um i got it cheap i'm not gonna lie 56 pounds i paid um and that is not standard that is not that is a lot lower than i've seen them go for um uh, and uh, yeah i'm a little bit apprehensive as to how useful this information will be uh, the whole point of doing this video is so that people could watch this and think oh i can put a rig together uh for the same price and uh get those sounds um but yeah i think you'll struggle most people will struggle to find uh this particular amp for that price um i got lucky i got very very lucky um but there are plenty plenty of other options about uh, for similar prices and uh, I will run through some other options some of the other amps I was looking at uh, with Ben I'm thinking he's probably got one of those other options that I was looking at actually because uh, he told me the other day that he's got his amp sorted so uh, I'll be interested to see what he has actually got it'd be hilarious if it turns out he's got the same amp that'd be amazing uh, I can't imagine that he has but anyway um, but yeah, if you wanted to skimp on the guitar, like you could, you could still get one of these. Um, I think they tend to go for around a hundred and fifty pounds secondhand. So if you obviously could find a decent guitar that you were happy with for fifty quid, uh, or if you already had a guitar that you uh, wanted to use, then you definitely could have this uh, this amp on under budget. Uh, but obviously we're being extreme here and uh, doing the whole thing for 200 so uh, yeah uh, the foot switches though uh, this alone is 50 quid on on ebay that i've seen second hand so oh, i'm really happy i can't believe i got i can't believe i got this so cheap um and then when the challenge is done i can i can make a pretty decent profit off of it so uh, i'm i'm mega happy uh just need a guitar now that's the next challenge um and i want to find again i want to get something decent um i don't want to have a crappy squire bullet or something like that um we'll see i'm keeping my eye out i'm looking at a few things on ebay at the moment we'll see what happens but uh for now I'm I'm still riding the wave. I'm still I'm still buzzing. So uh yeah. Take care. We'll see you in the next video. Right. So this is the first bit of uh, kit that I've got for the challenge. This is uh, a Dan Electro uh sort of drive pedal. Um I'm pretty sure Phil doesn't know about these pedals. Um I mean I could be totally wrong, but I remember there was a big buzz around them about sort of uh, oh, 10, 11 years ago um, and a forum that I, I used to go on, uh, the, the old Music Radar forum, which has sadly now uh, disappeared. Uh, there was a lot of people who were big fans of these pedals, uh, particularly this one, the uh, Transparent Drive. Uh, back in those days, and they uh, a lot of them used a lot of people used to sort of take them apart and rehouse them <clears throat> in um, slightly less cumbersome boxes, slightly less ugly as well. This is like a horrible yellowy, browny, gold colour, but it's it's yeah it's it's actually a really good sounding pedal to be honest. And uh, inside as well, there is these little uh, switches. Uh, you can see those there they sort of um you can have different sort of levels of clipping and all sorts of uh different sort of hidden options in there so yeah and this cost me a grand total of 15 pound off ebay uh 
not sure whether I'll end up using it yet. I think it kind of depends on the the amp that I get because I haven't really decided about that yet. But we'll uh, we'll see. Ah, uh, okay. Hello there. Uh, I've been thinking about pedals with this challenge and what I could use for a board. Obviously, I wanted to use this because A, I already have it, uh, B, it's very, very cheap, and um, yeah, it's obviously designed for the job. It's perfect size, it comes with a bag, uh, it's perfect. So um, I was going to use it. However, it cost me £20 on eBay, which is obviously extremely cheap, but I wanted to not spend £20 if I could help it. So I decided to go without that. And instead I found this. So it's uh, obviously less uh, aesthetically pleasing and um, it doesn't come with a bag. However, on a ridiculous shoestring budget, it will definitely work just as well. So it's a wooden food tray. It's like a posh plate, basically. If you go to a restaurant or somewhere and order a burger these days, it will probably come out on something like this. So I had one of these lying around for some reason and uh, Decided I'd probably get away with using this. So I've got some Velcro here that I also had lying around because I have to Velcro a lot of pedals. I go through pedals quite regularly. So having Velcro on hand is very useful. Uh, you can get this for about £5 on eBay as like a you know, large pack of hook and loop adhesive stuff. I don't even call it Velcro. They kind of get away with the branding by uh, saying every other word except Velcro. So I've just uh, got this cut to length and I'm going to peel this off, stick it on. Uh, pretty sure that's a clean surface. It's It'll do. Uh, if I was really bothered I could maybe put some varnish or something on there just to make it uh, adhere a little better but I kind of want to I want to keep the option of being able to take this off when I've finished so so I don't have to explain to somebody in my household why this uh, is no longer usable as a as a food platform I don't know it's not a plate um, so that's my pedal board. That took me all of three seconds to do, pretty much. And uh, yeah, my pedals are going to go on there. I'm going to have three. So one, two, three on there. Um, should be good. It'll work well. Okay. On with the rest of my stuff. I've got to actually go and get these pedals now. Okay, so it's Monday night. I've just got back from uh, band practice with uh, one of the bands that I, I play in. Um, and I have also got this amp. This is the PV Viper 30. Uh, I think it's the Mark 1. And um, the story behind why I ended up getting this was uh, last week, or a couple of weeks ago, the guitarist from... Uh, the band that I've, I, I was just playing with tonight turned up at rehearsals with one of these, and um, I've got to admit I, I did scoff at it when he got out, got it out of his car. I was like, "Oh no way, is that going to be loud enough?" Um, we've got a, a really really loud drummer in this band. Um, he really sort of pales the kit, and I was sort of thinking, "There's no way this tiny little amp is going to keep up." And um, but he he plugged it in, cranked it up, and uh, it. I've got to admit, I was really, really impressed. It kept up really, really easily. Um, no problem whatsoever. So uh, I started uh, thinking, oh, that might actually be the, the perfect amp for uh, for this challenge. So I started, uh, I was looking at a couple on eBay and I noticed last Sunday uh, there was, or the Sunday just gone, there was one listed as a, a buy it now 
for 50 quid. Um, I was about to pull the trigger on it when I thought, hang on a minute, I wonder if I can ask uh, Jake, the guitarist from uh, the band, whether I can just borrow his. So I've borrowed this because he he actually got this for free. Someone let uh, from a previous band that he was in left it left it at his house about four years ago, and it's just sat there ever since. Uh, they've never come and collected it, so it's he's kind of of the opinion that it's basically his. <laughs> um, so yeah, and um, it it does a lot of stuff actually. This amp, uh, as well as being unbelievably sort of loud for its size. There's a bunch of effects, uh, stomp boxes, uh, amp mod, uh, different amp models. Um, I think these are based on sort of rack units. Um, yeah, so uh, there's a, there's a lot there that it can do. Really, really versatile. And for fifty quid, um, yeah, I think this this is definitely a good purchase. We'll uh, I'll have to try it out and. Um, how well I get on with will sort of dictate whether I buy any more pedals or uh, or what because in my experience some of these types of amps from this era I think this is from sort of the mid 2000s maybe uh, a lot of the digital effects and modeling weren't that great but we'll we'll see a lot of people are big fans of this amp down to this day so see how we get on with it anyway Right, I'm off to get myself the guitar. Um, you'll see in just a minute what it actually is, but uh, I've been waiting for a while, I've been looking for a while, and I've been pretty picky about what I was going to go for. Um, but I'm happy, I'm happy. So uh, I'm going to go grab it now and see you in a bit. All right, um, it's been a couple of days. I've had a busy week with work. Um, sorry if it's uh, a little bit disjointed, all of these uh, vlogs, trying to keep up with um, gear purchases and things for this challenge. Uh, you can tell by my uh, growth here, uh, how uh, all over the place this is, this is working out or turning out to be. Um, right. The guitar. I have it. It is here. I am very happy with it. It is... Ah, check out this little thing. So, what the hell is it? It is a modified CB Sky. Um, that is the brand. I don't know if it has a uh, model name. Um, you notice it says Cabal cable i don't know um yeah i don't know what that is it's been modified quite a lot by the previous owner i think that's his own brand label name that he's put i oh, wait no he's got his own name on the back uh custom guitars oh yeah it is yeah cable is the brand and custom guitars is stamped on the back or written on the back um yeah really nice guy picked this up from him uh the other day and he's done quite a few things to it. Uh, he has obviously uh, put this uh, base, uh, Fender base uh, bridge guard on, which I think looks really cool. Um, he has modified the pickup. He has put a quad rail humbucker in there, which I've never tried before. Uh, I haven't actually plugged this guitar in yet. I've been so busy. Uh, so I'm looking forward to trying that. I have played it a little bit just acoustically. And uh, it needs a little bit of uh, setting up, I think. It needs a little bit of intonating. Uh, so I'm going to work on that later. But oh, he's added this uh, cool knob as well, which is kind of like a... It reminds me of like an old 90s hi-fi <laughs> kind of a, a knob, which is really nice to turn. It's a, kind of a speed knob thing, so that's, uh, that's really nice. Um, really low action. Decent guitar, 50 quid, 50 quid, I mean, and it looks awesome. And seeing as this is a gigable rig, this is something that's going to be very much uh, focusing on playing live, playing to an audience. So you've got to be thinking about how you're going to look 
that's my reasoning. You want to you want presence. You want to stand out on stage. Um, you want to look cool, right? So uh, yeah, what's what's uh, a higher priority if you're playing in front of people? Do you want a guitar that uh, is amazing to play, that <laughs> feels comfortable in your hands as like a priority, or do you want something that's all right to play that you can get along with, but looks really cool? Yeah, you probably want the first one, but <laughs> but I still like how uh, how this looks. So with a bit of tweaking, some modifications, I'm hoping this will turn out to be a decent uh, guitar to play. Okay, Saturday morning. Had a quite a busy week gathering uh, equipment. We've got the amp this week, and now also the guitar. And this is the Squire Bullet Mustang. I got this second hand from eBay. It was seventy five pound. I mean, they're not that expensive anyway. I think they retail at about 110. Um, but yeah, 75 pounds second hand, free postage. The guy actually came and delivered it himself, as he was. Uh, I think he's, he said his brother lived sort of fairly near me, and he was up for the weekend visiting him. So I didn't have to pay a penny for postage. 75 pounds. That's. Oh, I mean, that's. Yeah, that's about 35 pound i think off what they retail at so absolute bargain i think to be quite honest with you um i've been wanting one of these guitars myself anyway for quite a long time pretty much since they were released i've just thought they look really really cool really great uh beginner guitars i've just not been able to really justify it <laughs> up until now as i've got too many guitars already and too many, like a lot of you know nice guitars so couldn't really justify a budget one like this, but now I've got it and I actually really, really like it. I've had a quick sort of play with it and it's it's really cool. Um, really small uh, space uh, body and sort of space in between the frets. Two humbuckers. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be. Uh, I think I might actually keep this after this video is finished and. Uh, use it as like a modding platform. I've got a lot of idea, interesting ideas already. Uh, maybe that'll be another video someday. But yeah. And um, oh, just a, a quick update on the, the amp situation. So um, the uh, the amp, I'm really, really impressed with a lot of the sounds. Um, I think I am going to use the drive pedal that I bought just because I'd like to be, you know, it's pretty, um, it's pretty vital to be able to switch from clean to a, a driven tone, which you can't really do with the, the amp unless you have a foot switch, which I don't have. Um, so I'm, I am going to use the £15 drive pedal that I bought, I think. Uh, although I haven't tried it with the amp yet, it might sound awful. <laughs> pedals. I have had some pedals recently for this challenge. Well, one. <laughs> I've had one pedal for this challenge. The other two that I'm going to use... Uh, I already own, so maybe I'm going to be, uh, maybe it's cheating, I don't think it's cheating, it's within our rules, we set the rules, uh, so I think it's fine. I'm using this, I bought the other day, a Behringer Super Fuzz uh, SF300. This is a clone, and a very, very popular clone at that, of the Boss FZFZ. I'm British, FZ2, which is an extremely rare and very expensive pedal. And the fact that you can get this clone of it for a meagre £23 on eBay uh, is amazing. I think it's amazing. I've tried it out, I've played it, it sounds great. Uh, I've never had one before. So uh, yeah, that's definitely one of my three. Um, the other two pedals I'm going to use are, um, where did I put, where the heck did I, ah, oh, it's up here, this is up here, this thing is a Nux, or New X, I think it's called, New X, uh, chorus, and it is one of my favourite chorus pedals that I've ever tried. I'm not a big chorus 
user, really. It's not a an effect I dabble with a lot, but uh, it sounds great. Um, it does a really nice vibrato as well because it's got a uh, blend knob, so you can dial back the um, dry signal to just give you the vibrato uh, part of the effect. So that's really cool. That's uh, £13 I paid for that, I remember. A long time ago but i still remember that i paid 13 pounds for this uh second hand so you can get them brand new they're very very cheap brand new they're like i don't know 16 17 pounds or 20 pounds or something like that so uh yeah second hand it was uh, a little bit cheaper so i'm going with that for 13 pounds and uh i'm going with this the behringer echo machine behringer getting a lot of love uh, with this challenge um, and I bought now I'm being a little bit fair with this because I originally bought this I think for about 20 25 pounds uh, but the prices on these have gone up more in recent years um, they are worth more in America I believe but in the UK, you can still get these for more like 40 to 50 pounds. So um, I've looked at some of the uh, more recent auctions that have ended and uh, they've been around 40 pounds. So I am going to count this as my 40 pound delay pedal. Um, but it sounds amazing. There are a lot of uh, insane awesome sounding delays in this in this pedal so uh i think value for money wise even if it was 140 it would be worth having one of these uh, it's just a shame it's in a plastic enclosure it's same with the uh the super fuzz um but hey it's uh it's a cheap pedal so you kind of have to accept that there are going to be some kind of uh areas that you're going to have to compensate for with getting a better value pedal so it's plastic yes the jacks are pretty weird to plug into there's a spare jack cable around here um yeah to plug a jack in it's just i don't know there's a click but it seems very weird it's like a toy it's like using a toy or yeah playing with something that's not designed to be used by adults i don't know <laughs> it's kind of odd uh but yeah they sound amazing and that's the important thing so that's my th those are my uh three pedals that is my guitar and you've seen the amp in the back seat of my car like seven months ago um <laughs> lockdown um but you haven't heard anything yet so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to plug everything in set everything up and have a quick play um, and uh, yeah you're gonna hear some sounds right now okay we're plugged in and um, the guitar you'll as I've already mentioned uh, needs a bit of an intonation job doing on it so it's uh, it's in tune when you do this but then you play a chord So it's slightly out, <laughs> to put it mildly. Uh, okay, so the amp, it has a lot of stuff going on. We will get into that more with Ben. Uh, but just uh, for now, I'll leave it on the clean. Uh, clean bright mode is, is what it's on. So we've got... Uh... clean sound very uh, piercing as you'd imagine with the bright mode clean warm sounds a little bit uh, softer a little less harsh um <laughs> let's listen to some of these pedals super fuzz <laughs> Chorus. 
machine. So, um, I'm very happy. Uh, yeah, I'm going to work on the guitar later on. I think I'm going to try and uh, get the intonation sorted. Tweak it a little bit more, perhaps. The action might want to uh, be a little bit uh, tinkered with as well. But yeah, I'm happy. Um, let's go back to the studio. Okay, so the day has finally arrived at long last. Um, we're actually going to be filming this video today. Um, and uh, us getting our gear has pretty much gone up to the 11th hour with this. Uh, I got my last piece of gear just last week. Uh, so did Phil, I think. Um, this video has, has been in the works for quite a long time. Uh, I think we started filming the intros and talking about doing it back in January. It's now September. <laughs> but um, as you no doubt aware, there's been uh, this global pandemic, this little thing called COVID-19, which has been getting in the way and making life awkward. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's been on the cards for quite a long time. So, uh, yeah, I'll just quickly talk you through my rig. So I've now got all of it. So I showed this a few months ago when I got it. I got the Squire Mustang, the Bullet Mustang. I've spent quite a bit of time with this guitar over the last six months or so that I've had it now. Um, giving it a fresh set of strings, a uh, little bit of a setup, um, intonation, it's a, a little bit off, um, but it's a really nice guitar actually. I've, re I've really have enjoyed <laughs> playing it. It's been a lot of fun. Really fun little guitar, great for beginners. My wife, in fact, has been learning a few songs on it because it's quite small, for uh, sort of small hands. Um, the amp, uh, there's a bit of a story behind the, the amp. This is actually the second amp that I've got for this challenge. Hang on, I'll just put the guitar down. Uh, the first amp was, uh, well, it's the second identical amp. So the first amp I got uh, for free, sort of. Um, it was lent to me by the singer and rhythm guitarist in one of the bands that I play in. Uh, I think I mentioned it previously that... Uh, He'd uh, been sort of just it just been left at his house by somebody years ago, and he'd, he'd had it for a long time. Um, so he was like, "It's basically mine now." Uh, and then, so I had it for a few months and was really enjoying sort of playing around with it. And it's got some great effects in it. And and then the unthinkable actually happened, and the person who <laughs> did it at his house years ago wanted it back all of a sudden <laughs> out of the blue. So he had the embarrassing situation of saying, well, I, I don't have it anymore. And so um, I've lent it someone else. And so, uh, yeah, so he, he had to have it back. So I had to find this on eBay. Uh, it only cost me 
ten pound more than I was originally going to spend on it. It cost me sixty pound in the end, uh, which I was I was pleased with. Um, yeah. So uh, and then I think I, sh I, I in terms of effects, I was thinking of buying a few individual pedals. Uh, and in fact, I had bought the the Dan Electro um, transparent drive thing. Uh, I've sold that since. I've given up on that. I, I gave up on that idea when I spotted this on eBay again for sixty pound. So this is the Sampera foot switch, which controls the effects which are built into this amp. Now, some of these effects are brilliant. Some of the effects are not so brilliant, but you can make up sort of various combinations and patches and things, uh, including using it as a wah, pitch shifter. There's very, there's very little that it can't do, really. Um, it's even got some really crazy effects like ring modulation, <laughs> stuff like that that you're probably never going to use. Um, but yeah, so when we actually film the video, I've, I've sort of put together, I think, sort of 12 different patches and things that I can show. So we'll we'll probably just go through those. So yeah, there we go. That is my rig. I've got £10 to spare. This was £60. That was £60. Guitar was 70 something I can't remember. All the, all the prices will be... I'll, put them in the description um, so yeah there we go okay right. Right. <laughs> so uh, yeah we've done the intro <laughs> yeah uh, how many months ago uh, it was I think it was back in January I think yeah end of January I think uh, wasn't it yeah it was, yeah end of January yeah who could have foreseen it's taken us forever <laughs> Uh, I mean, we, there has been a, a global virus pandemic, you know, going yeah, on. We, we've is, had the apocalypse to contend with. Yeah, which has held things up <clears throat> somewhat significantly. It feels like the universe really didn't want mm. us to do this challenge, but we did it anyway. Yeah. And the thing is, as well, during the middle of the pandemic, as well, there was hardly anything on eBay. Yeah, that was, and what was there was like ridiculously high prices. Yeah. Like all the auctions were bi being bid up so much higher than normal because people were home yeah. and like bored and buying stuff. But things have kind of leveled off now. <sighs> yeah. it seems on eBay anyway. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, this video has been a long time coming, but today is finally the day. I'm excited. Yeah. I've been looking forward to this so much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so curious. I just want to know what you've got. I was yeah, so I was I was convinced this video was never gonna get made. Yeah, me. Yeah. I was thinking oh, this is just one of those things that's gonna end up being years from now. Yeah. Like, oh do you know what we never did? We do you, do you know what we never finished? Yeah. <laughs> like, we've still got this intro from like five years ago that yeah. we never finished. We're we're on, we're on a different camera. Yes. <laughs> the room Oh, is I in, didn't even think of the that. The room is in a different configuration. We were this way, right? I was gonna say weren't time. we over weren't yeah. we over there? We were like that wall was behind us. Yeah. I've gone through like eight different beards. <laughs> I've like yeah. I, I, the video you sent me. I shaved so. my head <laughs> like three times. Yeah. See, I had my winter plumage yeah. back in January when we were filming, and then it's like the next sort of video that I've got on my vlog thing was like yeah. shaven, <laughs> and then it's like grown back again. It's like shaven, and then back again. Yeah. But anyway, it's been so long, but yeah. we're finally here. Let's get to the point. Come on, Ben. I want to see yours first. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. That's like. Big game talk right there. I feel. Like Ooh, I've, are I've, you sure? Are you I've, sure you want me to go first? <laughs> I feel like we should flip. <laughs> Ooh, I like the sound of that actually. It's like a coin or a plectrum. Yeah. Okay. Fa okay, Dunlop, <laughs> it's you. Okay. And plain side, it's me. Let's go. Oh, plain, plain. side, it's me. I go first. Right. Okay then. Uh, what do you want first, guitar or amp? Uh, let's see what you got the guitar first. Okay, guitar. that's that's, uh, that's fair. Okay, here is. Oh, it's in a case. Oh, have you not got yours in a case? No. Is it one of these? <laughs> <laughs> this is like hanging up already. No, no, no. Mine, di <laughs> mine didn't come with a case. Okay. Did, did this come with a case or is this? No, no. This is just my in? one of mine. Okay. I'm gonna sit back down again. Yes, this is one of uh, my 
main I'm cases so that much I just if we bought the same thing. I highly doubt it. <laughs> okay. I was actually this is like one of the main things I was concerned about actually. I was yeah. like, oh, I want to get something. Well, what's Ben gonna buy? And I'm gonna make sure. Want to make sure I go the opposite <laughs> direction. Yeah. I was just looking for like the weirdest, most random oh, okay. stuff. Okay. So yeah, you have not got one of these, and if you have, I'll be incredibly surprised. Oh. This. What? Exactly. I have seen these occasionally. Is that an Italia? Well, it has clearly been styled on one. But no, it is a brand called CB Sky. Wow. I have seen before <laughs> on eBay, and I've always kind of fancied picking one up. Uh, but yeah, this has been modified by a previous owner. The guy did... Uh, uh, he's got his own brand as well. <laughs> he's like cable, cable, yeah, or cabal. I don't know. And uh, yeah, he's done like, a few things to it. He's changed the pickup. He's put a, a quad rail humbucker in there. Oh wow! Which I've never had before, so I'm, that's quite a new thing for me. He's put a new uh, knob on it. It's like a speed knob thing, which is quite cool. Looks like a <laughs> an old hi-fi kind of thing. And then he's stuck some like cool kind of imitation carbon fiber things like on the pit like for a fake pit guard and some extra like things on like the truss rod and stuff um and yeah this is like a base a precision base yeah, that's, kind yeah, of uh, yeah. <laughs> or jazz base whichever i don't wish well, you, you can you're... put them on you can put them on either you know. okay but yeah he's got a little bridge cover on that and uh yeah it's it's all right that looks really nice it's all right isn't it? <laughs> yeah i'm really really i like the inlays as well like He's yeah, the offset inlays. Yeah. Um, also, I think he painted the fretboard, which is a bit weird. Uh, oh but yeah, and kind of because he that, said he yeah. didn't. He really doesn't like uh, like a you know rosewood yeah. kind of looking. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not rosewood, but anyway, he's, he uh, painted it. He painted it black because he prefers an ebony look. Because he sees a red guitar, and he wants. He sees a red fretboard and wants to paint it black. Bravo. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, so yeah, it is. I will straight away. I will concede. It is not the best playing guitar I've ever had. However, I think with a proper professional setup, because mm. I'm not that great at setups to be honest. Uh, I've done my best with it, um, but yeah, it still needs a couple of things. The, the nut is a little bit high, so sometimes you press down a little yeah. bit too hard it can go out, out of tune with the like, oh, okay. chords and things but uh if you play like further down the neck it's like obviously it doesn't get affected huh. by that um but yeah if i had a bit more time i only literally picked this up last week so <laughs> <laughs> this is how late i left things yeah uh, um, you, you were guitar. pretty much like me then well like, yeah uh, i, I the was amp. kind of i got the amp like straight <laughs> away though we were the opposite i was like did you get the guitar quite early on well the amp was the first thing i got at but well, there's a story. Okay, you're gonna yeah, wait till yeah. so we get to your okay, okay. I've had two amps, but yeah. Oh yes, actually, yeah. I did hear this. I didn't hear the details. I've no. no idea what either of those amps were, but yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's my guitar. I'm happy with that. Have, a, have, a, have a look. That looks amazing. If you want to, can I just scroll here? I just want to check that sure. we're recording because I've just had a <laughs> man panic for the last five minutes. Oh yeah, we are. Okay, cool. Okay, edit that out. Yeah. <laughs> or leave it leave your paranoia in, I don't no, know. No, no, no. <laughs> oh yeah, that um yeah, that wow, that looks really cool. Uh, <laughs> it's not yeah, how did the stripe did did he do that? That's himself, actually or? that's actually stock that part. The, the oh, uh, okay. I think the whole styling of it is very much based on the Italia yeah, it uh, looks, uh, 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 Speedster. I ooh, think that feels called. nice. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. I don't yeah. know if he's if he's changed the actual pot inside or not, or if it's mm. just literally uh, I don't know the knob itself. But uh, yeah, right. it's he's done the pickup. Ooh. He's done the pickup. So who knows? Maybe he's done the. Uh, so what are the benefits of a, a quad rail? Well, it, it's Is basically it a, a splittable. Or? It's, it's not splittable. I don't think. No, <laughs> that would have been amazing. Yeah. Oh, it would have been epic if that had been. Uh... See, it's not horrendous, but no, it's, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Action's a little bit. Hot on I, the also high had, side, I also had. I also had a. Re uh, um, with my choice of guitar, I was thinking. I haven't even told you how much I spent yet. Oh yeah. So how much was this? Guess. Actually, it's not that impressive. I don't uh, know. Fifty quid. Exactly. It yeah. was fifty quid. Exactly. <laughs> it was. It was on there for sixty, and I I bartered him down to fifty. Yeah. Because uh, you've got to, haven't you? Well, yeah. Um, but yeah, he took fifty. 
and um, my my thinking with it was because uh, I'd already kind of thought I want to spend. 50 60 ish pounds on the guitar because obviously you can get some like really horrendous yeah things for like a tenner or 20 quid or something if you yeah, really yeah, yeah. really uh look um but yeah i was thinking i want something that's actually at least going to be playable and not too bad but priority one for me actually was how it looked because i was thinking oh totally because yeah. this the whole idea of this right is a gigable rig yeah. So if this is like with a view to being on a stage or playing in front of people, you would stand out with this. Then. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of what I'm thinking. Like um, it's the kind of thing where you'd make this your thing. Yeah. Like you know, like Jack White when he played that sort of fiberglass. You would stand out. Reser glass thing. Yeah, yeah. You know? I think he said about that that, that sort of never stayed in tune. And was like <laughs> yeah, a it's awful and... guitar to work with. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much every. Uh, live show you ever see other white stripes his guitar's slightly different yeah. in some way <laughs> yeah. he's got like bits of tape on it like holding it together 95 percent of the gig is tuning yeah like... exactly <laughs> <laughs> so you know in that vein it's a very uh yeah. kind of punk kind it of is, yeah. kind of uh view that i've I, had with i going can for this. very much get on board with this well, this is what i kind um, of thought yeah, i really um, like this also i was thinking spending so little on a guitar and it being not that amazing to play you know I was thinking you could do your set and at the end you could smash it to pieces <laughs> and not care. You'd be like, yeah, it's only 50 quid. I don't care about this. Yeah. You could probably put it back together again when you finished yeah. even. It's that uh, you could, it's you bolt could on loose, there. You could loosen the bolt slightly. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just like yeah, turn your back to the audience. Yeah. Quickly take out a <laughs> screwdriver. Yeah. So that was my, uh, yeah. that's my thinking. That's my guitar. I have considered buying cheap guitar to smash. Just yeah. pure, purely for change guitars for the last song. Yeah, just smash it <laughs> to smithereens. Yeah, um, awesome. And then this is really good as well. I really like these. All the little touches, yeah. The all little, the little carbon yeah, fiber I don't know whether bits. That's going to show up on the camera. Or oh, I'm not, sure it will. Hope so. Yeah, because that looks uh, really nice. I, I especially like that actually. And the d the decal was that his own kind of yeah, custom. Yeah, he, he's put that on. He said yeah. he uh, he's actually a drummer, and he said he. Uh, <laughs> He really likes uh, working with guitars and uh, making them, modifying them, and stuff. So, it's yeah, a nice, He's a really nice guy as well. Nice. If you're watching, thanks, mate. Yeah, brilliant. I did tell him about this. Oh, did you? So I was like, oh, <laughs> check out the YouTube uh, channel in a few weeks. You might see a guitar. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is actually a necessity as well because the bridge, the stock bridge that's on it, mm. the, like you know the the adjustment uh, screws that are on each saddle. Yeah like the two on each side kind of thing, and you adjust the height on either side. Those things are like a mile high oh, right. and sharp as hell. I actually, actually cut <laughs> the uh, top of my little Ow. finger like doing the, some of the intonation uh, yesterday. Testing to palm mute. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> just taking this off, and I was like, you know what, I think I actually prefer it off by the look of it. Uh, and then I started to like, once I'd set it all up, like, adjusted the intonation uh, a little bit more for my, for well, for the... Uh, scale length and stuff yeah uh yeah trying to play it without i mean immediately just like carved up my uh, my finger so i was like yeah i'm putting this back um so that's the guitar looks awesome thank you man i'm impressed i'm, I'm glad that you like and approve right i've got my pedals under here as well what should we go for first uh pedals are probably easiest okay yeah. so if i just reach under the blanket here for <laughs> The pedals. I have actually gone with a board as well. Oh! Did you have room in the budget for a board? When you see it, you'll realise <laughs> oh, right, that the okay. answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, so what have we got? We've got two Behringers. There is Behringer, which is obviously a, a, a kind of a, a go-to mm -hmm. staple of the uh, the budget conscious. Yeah. Uh, They've oh, had some my cables of renaissance in recent years. Yeah, they have, especially this one. Yeah. This is the uh, Boss FZ2 clone. I remember when Ber uh, Behringer was, was sort of literally the only cheap pedal you could get. People hated them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now when people are like, oh, yeah, Behringer. <laughs> like, they're all right. And what's that one in the middle? This is uh, one of my favourite chorus pedals that I've ever uh, that I've ever tried. This is the Nux Nuex oh, yeah. uh, CH3 chorus. I've had it on my board, if you remember. Actually, we, we're huge my... fans of Nux. Yeah, of they're awesome. Yeah. Um, and yeah, this chorus pedal is amazing. It's got a blend knob, blend knob on it, so yeah. you can uh, get some like really nice vibrato sounds by dialing the blend back a bit. Um, yeah, 
it just sounds huge. It's a really nice, lush sounding <laughs> chorus. You can't use any other word to describe no. a chorus than lush. Um, and the Echo Machine is just one of the best yeah. delays ever. So is that is that meant to be a little bit like the RA20? Um, it's actually a oh. clone, a pretty spot on clone from what I've seen, of yeah. the uh, Line 6 Echo Park. Oh, okay. So it's got all of the same functions, all the same oh. knobs and stuff, and, and uh, switches. But it's got so many modes. I'm going to go a bit closer to the uh, phone, if you can see this. There are so many modes on this thing, all the different delays on there. It's ridiculous. And each mode, you can have a choice of either tape, digital, or analog, which, is, in, which is crazy. And, in fact, and you've got a mod... Uh, knob as well, so you can add modulation to any of those delays, which is also, which is also insane. Uh, and it's got tap tempo, it's stereo, it's got so much stuff going on. Um, I bought this a while ago. These two pedals, actually, I already I already had as, as per our rules. Yeah, <laughs> we did say that. Yeah, so I'm like, actually, I remember you buying those actually. Yeah. Dear. Yeah. Um, this one, I think, from 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 memory, was thirteen pounds. Okay. Uh, on eBay, so uh, that's. Obviously, cheap. this I got for twenty three pounds. Yes, yeah. uh, and this I I'm being fair with this one because uh, as I already explained in my vlog, uh, this was originally I think twenty ish quid that I bought yeah. this for, um, but they've gone up a little bit in price since then, probably because people are starting to realise that they are really good. Uh, so they're more like forty now. So I'm counting that as forty pounds. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I've spent more on my pedals than I did on my guitar. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think the pedals are probably responsible for more of the sound, in all fairness. So. Ooh, that's controversial. What, what about Tonewood, then? You heard it here first. Tonewood? Yeah. Tonewood. It's not a thing. No. Um, okay, so... We've all seen the cardboard guitar. Video, <laughs> right. Come on. Like, oh, that Fender thing? Yeah. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah. I love that video so much. I think so that, much. that was the final word. I've used that, that video to, yeah. to, to <laughs> argue my point so many times on yeah. forums. Uh, so, yeah, that's my... That's my uh, incredibly cheap and uh, I think quite decent that is, pedal yeah, board. I'm cool. happy with that. Um, I did. You've got all the the basics that are covered. Yeah, I've yeah. got you know I've got modulation. I've got as there's modulation in the uh, mm -hmm. delay pedal. You can always dial the time like knob right down and have the modulation up and use that for modulation if you wanted more than the chorus. Uh, yeah, and I've got the fuzz. It's yeah, it's great. I didn't really need a lot of effects though. With, uh, with my pedal. I thought this might happen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, have you gone some? I'm wondering if you've gone a similar route with I'm this. wondering if we bought the exact same thing. <laughs> well, looking at the shapes of the blankets, I don't think we have. No, that's true, I think yeah. this one is bigger. I mean, is, unless it's like a similar. Anyway. Um, okay. There is a bigger version of mine. There is. There are smaller <laughs> versions of mine. <laughs> this oh, will dear. be hilarious. Okay. No, yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't think you've got the same smith, but we'll see. <laughs> I do know that you like this brand. So. Oh, okay. Oh! <laughs> no, we haven't. Okay, yeah. okay. That's, that was close. However, that thing on the top... Yes. I do have one of those. Oh, really? Yeah. See, and I have one of those. I, I saw that when I came in. You've got the exact same foot switch. The, uh, the other foot switch is on my, the board for my bass. Uh, okay. I, I use it with my bass amp. I've got the Unity to, uh, 50. Put this so that it's visible. How, how much did that knock you back then? Oh. The rest of your budget? Most of it. Well, no. This was £56. Damn. Um, well, I'll tell you what it is, first of all. It's uh, the Blackstar ID Core 150. Yeah. It is the top of that of that range. It is a 2x10 stereo amp. That's impressive. It's got their uh, ISF technology, which is like a kind of... I don't even know what that stands no, for. but It, it doesn't do a lot, it, to be honest. Oh, black star connoisseur over here already knows about this stuff. You're going to be telling me about this app. Um, <laughs> this thing, I've looked this up on eBay. These things alone go for like 50 quid. I know. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I got to the, to the place. All I saw in the listing was this. So yeah. then when I got there, he had this on this on I the I know, floor. that's why I'm really impressed that... That you, came with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could not believe it. I think I bought mine brand new because it was kind of really vital to use with the the bass amp it's yeah like, it's something like 60 70 quid well I'm just like, with oh. this with this amp that foot switch again for a live situation 
Yeah. This foot switch is absolutely incredible because you've got... There's a tuner built in. Yeah, it's got, yeah. it's got access to a looper. Yeah. You can use a looper with it if you're not even gigging, if you're playing mm -hmm. at home. Uh, and obviously you can uh, program in whatever effects that you want on the amp via USB and stuff on your computer and then access those uh, presets on here. You can bank up, bank down. I don't mm -hmm. know how many presets that you can select and save. Um, but there's like... I don't know, it's got to be at least 30 or so, I think. Mm. So more than enough than you'd need for a typical gig anyway. Um, mm. And yeah, uh, it's it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. It's got an effects loop. It's got a uh, full EQ. It's got uh, four... It's got places on here for four effects, but you can tailor and um, tweak each of those positions to be a different modulation mm. effect. Uh, via a computer um, I'm not sure if there's even an app that you can use for this or not I don't know I don't, yeah I, I don't know I don't, I don't know about that but uh, yeah you can... a lot of the black star stuff has a USB port on it but... right <laughs> except for like the HD5 and stuff yeah or well, the, the valve <laughs> stuff doesn't yeah, yeah. To, but um... but uh, well I mean I was really 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 impressed with myself <laughs> yeah that's it that's, <laughs> when I got this that's an, uh, that's a, an excellent a, purchase at a really good price I was <laughs> I was honest. I was really I was really <laughs> expecting to uh, to end up having to buy uh, well what I was looking at originally oh I will tell I will say that in case you've actually gone and bought it so <laughs> I'm just gonna shut up now I've talked enough yeah <laughs> you've pro yeah probably <laughs> <laughs> sorry I've already like, I've probably bought the thing that you were hoping you wouldn't have to right but. okay well i'm just gonna shut up now i'm, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'm sure we will discuss more when it's like plugged in and we can like microphone okay. up and stuff so what have you got man so guitar first can you guess uh i'm gonna i'm inclined to think it's something more gibson e gibson ish because i know you like humbuckers and you like uh it has yeah. it has humbuckers, yeah. Oh, okay. But it's not a Gibson. Well, I didn't think or it was that. Epiphone. I was thinking, it would, is it going to be like an Epiphone with like a bolt-on neck or something like a cheaper Epiphone? Um, that was my first kind of yeah. thought. That's why I kind of steered away from that myself. <laughs> uh, Squire. Yeah. Squire. Oh. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Dude. That's awesome. I'd, I'd actually been. That is awesome. Gassing after one of these for ages. Just because I love how... Okay, I got this... This was, I think, £79 or something like that. Or £75. I can't remember it off the top of my head. Uh, the guy actually came and delivered it himself to my door. <laughs> I didn't have to pay any postage. Wow. Uh, he, uh, I was, I was, I'd sort of paid... The, well, I paid the postage. And then he... He refunded me the postage, and he said, oh, I'm coming up your way. Um, no way. Saturday, my, uh, my brother lives near you. I'll drop <laughs> it off. That's awesome. So, yeah, <laughs> it's um, it's it's a really... Uh, so, how much, I, mean, I was basically tuned out for, like, most of that. I'm sorry, because no, it's no, just, like, it's right. blown away. How much was it? Uh, it was, I think it was about £79 or £75. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but it was in somewhere in the 70s. I mean, they only retail for about 120 Yeah, yeah, I know, new, but, but that's, that's, still that's a, so good. Yeah. That looks amazing. It's it's a very cool that's looking like a car. sparkle, like a blue sparkle. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so yeah. jealous. I love Mustangs. I absolutely love, yeah. love, love the Mustangs. It's it's great. I'll tell you what, it's such a it's such a, a good guitar for a beginner. If I wasn't such well. a lanky git, I would have had I'd probably have like it's two good. or two or three Mustangs. <laughs> but <laughs> it's got the uh, obviously the scale length yeah, is um, the short it's the twenty four inch, is it? Twenty four yeah, and a half. Which no. took me it took me a little bit of time to get used to because uh, I'm not really used to it. Sure. <laughs> but um oh, but yeah, I've been really getting into in fact Becky, uh, my wife actually has been playing it. Oh really? A little bit, yeah. She can play like a few chords. She's been trying to learn. A That's awesome. In the lockdown. So oh it's cool. Like good for small hands. That's ace. Um, yeah. Can I have, can I have a look? Yeah, like? have a look, man. Bye. Oh wow. Oh mate. Okay, so is it a an affinity? What? Do you it's know the it's the bullet series. Okay. So it's like the literally like the cheapest. Oops, sorry. One that they do. Yeah. 
but uh, they're they're really popular along uh, among people who like to sort of mod things out, and like it's a really good base for a project. Oh, absolutely. You know, um, oh, there's a lot you so could good. do with it. It's got so, it's a nice thin neck. That's it what, is. It's really it's a really it's yeah. a really really nice neck on it. Oh. I had to give it a little bit of a setup. The intonation was pretty bad uh, when I first got it, um, and uh, I think the guy had strung it with tens as well. Right. Well, um, on a shorter scale though, that's yeah, which that's made fine. sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, that's what I, I think. I've got elevens on my uh, uh, Jaguar because yeah. it's a short. Scale. I was expecting it to feel quite that's so nice, tough, you know, with tens, but it actually feels really nice. That's amazing. Yeah, it's it's a really good solid I'm, guitar. I'm like, super it, jealous. It looks really nice. You know, it's inspiring to you would pick not up. smash that up. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> I already have. <laughs> oh, what have you done? Yeah, see that. Oh, was that you? Yeah. Oh no, that was like the one thing I was looking at. Like, well, uh, that may be why you got it a bit cheaper because there's a yeah. bit of chip out of it. It's been, like, well, you did that yeah, yourself. I, it's been sat on my landing for ages because I've kind of run out of room here, <laughs> and then I, I think I knocked it over hoovering. <laughs> Damn. Which was a little bit annoying, but you know, get a blue felt tip. Yeah, you could you could sort that out. <laughs> so yeah. Oh mate, I'm so so. Jealous. I'm really chu- I'm really chuffed with it. That's I, I've great. actually I, I nearly bought one actually the last time we were in PMT when you bought. Oh yeah. Um, I got a few things in I? I got. Them. And you bought the base six. Yeah, I got my amp. But uh, I, I ended up just buying a pedal in the end, didn't I? That's but, right. Um, but I was looking at them then and sort of thinking, oh, <sighs> that's so good. Because I mean, they're so, really they're so cheap anyway, even brand new. You know, it's like, it's a bit, yeah, I really love these things. Oh, I'm kind of regretting my own purchase now. So I'm, well, ha- I'm I, happy. I, I, I'm I happy. Don't know. I'm I happy. Think, I it. think your your amp is probably. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Well, I started with the amp as I said before, and I got the uh, once I kind of started with that. I don't know. I feel like I <laughs> I feel like I peaked like to maybe too soon with the amp, and then I was like I almost lost uh, the momentum for like, the other stuff. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, nothing's gonna touch my amp. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> I was like, good luck, Ben, be- beating my amp. You know. And then yeah. I kind of I, I kind of uh, I don't know. I should have carried on. I kept the fire for, uh, for shopping for the guitar. So uh, the amp and pedals, I uh, kind of feel like I need to reveal both at the same time. Okay. As they're kind of interlocked with each other. I'm intrigued. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, this is. I didn't. I didn't think you'd be expecting me to buy this. I did not expect yeah. TV. N- neither did I. <laughs> Nobody That's, expects. No, me. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I uh, I was not expecting to to buy I... this. So, so the story goes: we talked about doing this challenge back in like late December, early January last year, right? Or this year, didn't we? And um, I, I I really really was unsure of the direction to to go, as you'll see in the or as you've already seen in the the vlog that I did. So the first thing I actually bought was a pedal. Just be- uh, right. purely because it was cheap. Okay. So it was a fifteen quid Dan Electro sort of transparent overdrive. Oh right. Thing, okay. Which which was actually really good. Like, um, I remember them coming out about ten years ago. Is that like the Food Series one or like the no tiny, no it's... tiny little thing? Uh, I'll show you later. I okay. haven't got it anymore. I sold it. Oh uh, right. Okay. But um, I remember them coming out about ten years ago. Uh, and there was a lot of hype around them, uh, and on a, a forum which is now dead, on the old music radar forum, <laughs> loads of people were really into these pedals. They were really into like rehousing them into less ugly, <laughs> <laughs> more boutique looking uh, yeah. enclosures. Yeah, um, I think it's a, a Timmy clone. Basically. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, but it had it had a lot of like dip switches inside. You could change the clipping and all. Okay. It, it was a pretty cool pedal for 15 quid. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to build my rig around this, you know. And then which, and then I quickly kind of realised that that maybe wasn't a great idea. <laughs> but I thought, well, I'll, ju- I'll, 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 you know, I'll keep it. I'm sure it'll be useful to the video. Right. And then a couple of weeks later, I was, I was at a band practice uh, with uh, the other band that I, I play bass in. Um, yeah, the, the tumultuous predicament. Check us out on Spotify. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and the and well, good. the guitarist from the guitarist and singer from our band, he he pulled one of these out of his car. Okay. Now bear in mind, I've 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 not historically been a big fan of PV stuff. I've been quite dismissive. They're not even on my radar. Yeah, they're not even on my yeah. radar. And, That's uh, why I'm, su- I'm so yeah. surprised. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was uh, he pulled that out of his car, and I was like, what is that? 
and he's like, oh, it's this, this PV Viper. It's really, really good. And then, now, you know that this band is loud. <laughs> like we are a loud band. Right. You know. You know. You've you've seen us playing live. It's yeah. Like the drummer. You know, he does like, not mess about. No, we are ex- an extremely loud band. I, I think your drummer goes through like a, a new kit every gig, doesn't he? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so he he pulled this. So Jake pulled this amp out of the car, and I I, I scoffed <laughs> openly. I was like, mate, good like, luck trying to be heard. Yeah, basically. Like, I was like, <laughs> what are you doing? And he was like, no, no, no. This thing is loud. Believe me. And I was just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, in, well, head- in headphones. <laughs> yeah, well, it was loud. Like, okay. It kept up easily. Wow. Uh, I, I think it's just a 1 by 12. Right. Might not, might even be 1 by... No, yeah, it's 1 by 12, yeah. Okay. Um, it was, Yeah, it easily kept up, and I don't think he was even pushing the volume that <laughs> high. Uh, so and I, so I, was, I was seriously impressed with this amp, and I started looking on, on eBay to see if I could pick one up, and I was about to pull the trigger on one, which I saw for 50 quid. Yeah. When I thought, oh... Wouldn't it be amazing if I could actually get this amp for free? <laughs> I'll just borrow Jake's amp, <laughs> which is not part of the rules. Yeah, well, I discussed borrowing. Yeah, well, I did. Dis- well, this is we had a discussion about it, didn't we? We did, and uh, we decided that you know that wouldn't count. Well, no, I said if I remember, I said you could use it. Yeah, you, I could use you, it. But... You'd have to include like the second hand value yeah so so what i was going so so the the amp i was going to uh to pay 50 quid for it went for 50 quid right so i thought right we'll we'll set it at, that's what i spent on it right okay which is fair yeah and uh so i so i text jake i was like any chance i could borrow your amp and he's like oh yeah keep it as long as you want like he said nice. it's not he goes, it's not even mine <laughs> like, uh, I, I, said, I think it was his brother or somebody left it at his house years ago. Okay. And he said, he said they just left it at my house years ago, and um, <laughs> it's been. I've had it for about four years, so it's basically mine. <laughs> so I was like, oh great, you know. Uh, and, then, so then, and then of course the lockdown happened, right. and so I ended up having this amp for months and months and months. Yeah. And then the unthinkable happened, and he texted me one day saying, um, any chance I could have that amp back? <laughs> Let me guess. During lockdown, the owner, original, the original <laughs> owner. <laughs> oh, where's that? Back. Where's that amp gone? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. Damn um, you, lockdown. <laughs> so yeah. So of course I couldn't say no. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Um, but in in the meantime, I had bought this, which is the Sampera One foot controller. Okay. Which matches up oh, to this amp. Expression and everything. It does literally everything, like oh, wah, pitch what? shift, volume, expression. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I'm guessing. Well, it doesn't kind of control parameters of like sort of like time or modulation oh, okay. based stuff. It's just for wah and volume. Wah, volume, pitch shift. Cool. That's so um, get so so ace. Yeah. So I'd bought. So uh, I'm. I'm in the. So I'd given up on the Dan Electro. Level. Right. So I'm in the situation where I've got a guitar. I've got this thing. <laughs> Can I ask how much this was? This was sixty quid. Oh wow! As well. Okay. Yeah. Um, they they go for quite a bit. These do. And right. there's also a much bigger version which you can get as well. So they, oh, I'm, um, I'm learning all about all of this because I've like I didn't even know that PV <laughs> were even still going. Like was yeah. that even still a brand that exists? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm so I'm so little. I have so little awareness. Yeah. Uh, well, well, there's much bigger, nicer versions of this amp. Right. Like they do like I think there's a valve version and everything. Oh, what? And like, yeah. Um so uh, yeah, so I was I was sort of in the situation where I I based my entire rig around <laughs> all the built in effects on this and I've got the foot controller and everything and I'm like, Well I'm gonna have to get another amp the same. Yeah. It's like you know, you bought all your gear and yeah, it's like yeah. lit so I think it was literally like a week ago. Okay. I spotted this on eBay, buy it now sixty quid. Right. Nice. So yeah, I was well, I miss it. It was collection only though, and it was it was a little bit of a way away, and I I don't drive. Of course. So um, I sort of messaged him saying, "Would you mind if I organise my own courier?" Okay. And he like straight away got back and was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, no problem at all. Yeah, courier's fine." So I was like, "Yeah, brilliant, buy it now." So I messaged the the chap and uh, I said to him, um, "I said, well, I'm I'm just on parcel to go now. Can you just send me the the dimensions and the weight?" So I can, you know, uh, and obviously you'll need to package it up as well. Right. Um, 
And he got back to me pretty much immediately <laughs> with the dimensions and the weight. And, and that automatically kind of set alarm bells ringing because I was like, well, I surely you've not packaged it up that fast. Right. Like, okay. it was literally within a minute yeah. of me asking for it. But I thought, okay, well, I'll, go, I'll go with it. So I'd, I'd sort of, uh, I got to the, the stage where I'd, I'd uh, uh, we had a few more messages back and forth. He wasn't very happy that um, he was going to have to wait in all day. He wanted a one hour time slot, which I, obviously I couldn't give him. Right. You know, uh, I'd organised DPD to pick it up. They, you know, they only give you like between nine and five. Okay. Um, long story short, <laughs> he completely got the wrong end of the stick of what I'd meant by a courier. Uh, he just thought I was going to send a mate round with oh, a van. Oh, no. Uh, I ended up phoning him. Uh, he'd given me his phone, but I ended up on the phone to him. He was he was not happy oh, my <laughs> that days. he was going to have to package it. Oh. Uh, his words were along the lines of, are you expecting me to wrap this up like a Christmas present? <laughs> Like it's a Sunday. Where am I, you, you book this for tomorrow? Where am I going to get packaging from now? I'm not. I'm not a shipping company. He this said. Is, this is why I told you this days ago. Or well, I, well, I said, well, I did mention packaging it. Up. Yeah. I gave him plenty of options. I yeah. said, I said, well, if you want, I can, I can rebook the. Um, oh my life. For a different day to give you a bit more time. He's like, well, what will that solve? And I was like, well, it'll give the, you... The problem? The problem, yeah. I was like, well, it'll give you more time to get the package in. Oh, my God. And he's life. like, well, I'll, well I'll, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. I mean, I'll, I'll just wrap it in a blanket or something. And, like, <laughs> and, and that's I, the blanket you use no, to cover No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and I said, well, that's not really going to be good enough, to be honest. Well, I said, yeah, I, stick, I said, stick the label to a well, blanket. Well, I, was, I was on the laptop while I was talking to him, and I was looking at his feedback, and he got nothing for selling. Like no feedback. That's smart. I like yeah. that. So, uh, so I said to him, I said, look, I said, obviously, I can see you're new to this. I said, well, let, I said, I've sold and bought a lot of expensive gear over the yeah. years. I've been on eBay for 15 years. Yeah. I said, I could tell you some real horror stories of stuff which has been completely yeah, yeah. destroyed in the post. Same. Like, let me tell you now. Yeah. A blanket is not going to cut it. <laughs> and he's like, well. I, I, what, what do you expect me to do? I said, well, I can delay it. it calm as I've down said. for one yeah. thing. <laughs> like, I said, well, I can delay the, the courier, you know, give you more time. He says, well, I'll, I'll stick a few bits of cardboard around it then. And uh, he goes, well, I can't put any, like, polystyrene in it. It's like, you know, I'm not, I don't own a polystyrene factory. And I was just like... Uh, I would have pulled the plug on that well, well, sale I, I, immediately. I'm yeah, like, you know I, what, mate? Well, I, it, I was on the verge of it. Yeah. Uh, but he did kind of calm down, and I managed to kind of talk him down a bit. And he was like, <laughs> okay. He said, look, he goes, I, I've got all afternoon. Oh. I, I can probably rustle up a. I, I will package it in such a way as I would be happy to receive it. Yeah. And I said, well, that's fine. I said, but just understand that um, if it comes and it's smashed to pieces, I will be looking to you for a refund. Yes. Yeah. I said, and you know, let me tell you, eBay ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time side with the buyer. Absolutely. So, you know, choice is it's yours. It's basically. in your interest, yeah, to package <laughs> yeah. it well. Yeah, which I have to say, he did. Oh well, good. Like good he managed to somehow construct a really well put together po polystyrene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he filled it with so much <laughs> newspaper, like. Um, stuffed into little balls that when I pulled it out the box it was like a newspaper explosion <laughs> <laughs> so anyway yeah uh, um, that's hilarious yeah it's but it, wow. yeah it's a great it's a great little amp not all of the effects are brilliant I'll I'll give you that okay um, how old is it I think they came out sort of in the mid 2000s okay the time uh, like I say not all the effects are amazing mm. but some of them are really really impressive I'm thinking we need to wire this all up. Yes, then. I think we've talked about it for long enough. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably going to be like a three hour. Oh, three hours I'm sure. Finally, but... Yeah, there's be like eight people that watch yeah. this whole thing. Uh, okay, right. Right. Well, we're back and uh, we have. We've set everything up. Yeah. Well, f for my amp, at, le yeah. at least, anyway. <laughs> so, um, it's quite loud and it's actually pretty quiet. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm using just a, like a 
cheap power supply as well so it's uh i was worried about that <laughs> I was thinking, am i going to be getting uh, a lot of noise coming through the, the power supply but it's actually fine so that's good so enough talking let's yeah let's go yeah i'm guessing your mustang's probably going to be better tuning in we'll, we'll tune. see we'll see i have tuned it for open but then when you play chords it kind of goes out because they're not being quite high yeah yeah so it's like oh yeah yeah it's not great but that's again up at the top of the neck so uh, further down it's not as bad if you do like a yeah but yeah sounds all right doesn't it yeah it's nice like, that's it's a nice clean, nice clean. Yeah. uh it's got two settings for clean that's clean warm yeah I'm not going to do a full demo of this amp, but you know, no. just to run through some. Yeah. This is clean, bright. Uh, the the reverb on it is amazing. You've got some really. Hang on. There we go. Oh. some delay <laughs> we can throw some delay in there as well the tap switch on there as well oh, oh the tap nice. button. Sounds so good, man. It's great. It's, it's got such a good clean yeah, tone. The quality of it is yeah. it's on a par with my easily on a par with my uh, katana. Yeah. <laughs> and it's older, it's like Yeah. Right, well, it's like a yeah. katana this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Phone went off slightly there. Yeah, um, yeah. It's gonna We're be having some video issues. It's going to be a jump cut. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> yes. No, where I was, as I was saying before, our phone was interrupted. Yeah. Um, it does have a lot of similarities uh, with, like, quality-wise, with the katana. Um, but yeah, it's got a whole bunch of modulations and stuff in here. I don't think we got them, did we? No. So we'll run through some of the modulations again. These are all these are all editable online but yeah. online i think it's like a, a software that you can download and mm -hmm. use edit with it. great pitch effect but <laughs> still uh, and uh, the level knob uh, I, can, I can hear you altering the shape of that as i well. say the level yeah. knob on this uh, in this mode it changes the shape of the wave yeah. so you get an extreme square <laughs> with a tap switch still uh, works as well to yeah Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know. 
Anyway, so yeah, modulation uh, is available. Yeah. You're probably not going to be using... I didn't put this rig together thinking about softer, ambient... Yeah. Tones. I was. Thinking, You're not thinking about oh, this is for a Pink Floyd cover no, band. No, not so know, much. Like. No, I was thinking <laughs> hard rock, punk, <clears throat> punk. You know, maybe maybe metal. I don't know. It's probably do metal with a you know a quad humbucker. Uh, I thought so. Well, double humbucker uh, in the uh, bridge. So let's go up to the more heavier stuff, and I will try and keep it down. But so we've got crunch. Turn the levels down to compensate. <laughs> So we've got a heavier overdrive sound. Again, the guitar's not great for staying in tune, but... And then it goes up. Wait for it to... What's it doing there? It was just set between going from oh, okay, one yeah. mode to the next. It's got a gate on it, hasn't it? I was going to say, I think yeah. a, I've turned a gate on somewhere. Nope. That's pretty useful for if you're playing that kind of music, though. Absolutely. That's the gain all the way up on that level, when it, on that uh, setting. That's the super crunch. Oh! <laughs> from uh, my pedals that uh, I've got. Yes. Almost nice. forgot. <laughs> that's, that's how good the amp is. Man, there's a lot you can do there. That's, oh, that's, that's I almost I almost didn't bother with pedals. I was like, you know what? This is yeah. probably everything that I could need. Well, that, that's kind of the route I ended up taking in the end. Well, that's it. That's that, kind yeah. of, I was kind of on the same thing, but because I saved so much money on the amp. Mm. I mean, this is... I feel like... Hang on. I need to do a quick disclaimer here because I, I did do this in, in my vlog already, but... Because this is, I've got such a good deal on this. If you wanted to like replicate this at home, if you wanted to like go out and buy a similar kind of a rig or think, oh yeah, I'm going to get one of those, you would probably have to use a, a bit more of your budget probably <laughs> to get this exact amp. It's not every day that one of those yeah, comes up at that price. Absolutely yeah. not. This is, I mean, fifty-six pounds I paid. That's not. That's insane. That's not indicative <laughs> of what yeah. they go for. I just got really lucky. I was actually looking more at the Vox uh, Valve Tone, Valve Tronics uh, yeah. range. Uh, also really good. Um, but yeah, for this kind of price, fifty, sixty pounds, you probably have a better chance of getting uh, one of those amps. Mm. But having range. said that, isn't there smaller versions of this? Yeah, there are. This was this is the one fifty. The ID Core starts up. I don't know. Is it? The, I'm not sure. 50? I couldn't tell you. Is it ID Core 50 or something? That's probably it, that would probably be loud enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, sure. I mean, is that is that is that one especially one by twelve speaker? It's either 110 or 112. One of those. I'd imagine 112. I would have thought so. I'm not sure. I'm not. I should have looked that up to be honest. But, but that, uh, that would that would probably cost you less and be oh yeah plenty absolutely. Um, so anyway, the fuzz pedal I've Let's got go. on the floor. Uh, this is pretty gnarly. To use an American <laughs> word. Uh, oh, here we go. And I'm on the clean mode as well, just uh, to. That's 
fuzz one. You've yeah. got fuzz two is more of a big muff. We're getting into like pedal territory yeah, now yeah. rather than the rig, but yeah. Is that much quieter? <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that's a classic. Yeah, that that is sound. That's very big muffy. <laughs> Has, oops, it has a boost as well, which is uh, also very nice sounding, but very. So that's quite a versatile, versatile pedal. Yeah. The chorus. So you could you can use this as a uh, vibrato setting or kind of like a vibrato thing. That sounds good. everything up that's nice man i like that pedal it's uh, that's a really good pedal yeah it's great <laughs> i'm really impressed <laughs> 13 quid yeah two, two Come out on. of two so far right. <laughs> <laughs> this one we haven't discussed much have we have no you, have you even I think I need. I knew you bought it, but yeah, I haven't heard it before. Yeah, it, it, prepare to be impressed by okay. this thing. We need to do a video on just this. Actually, I've got a Behringer pedal you can have. I can have. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, what's that? Uh, reverb. Ooh, which one? Uh, well, There's well, a couple, I think. We'll talk about it after. But yeah. <sighs> is it blue? No, it was silver. Ah, uh, okay. I see. The blue no, one is like <laughs> supposed to be a boss. Well, it's blue now. <laughs> um, yeah, my brother painted it for some reason, but he did, oh, a, he okay. did a really bad job of painting <laughs> it. looks awful. I'll take that off your hands. And the, the rubber isn't on it anymore either. Oh, I took the rubber off for this one as well yeah. to uh, put the Velcro on. Oh, okay. So that's fine. <laughs> but cheers, man. <laughs> you heard it here first. Yeah. Oh. So, the reverb is off on the amp. Yeah. This is all the pedal. This is a double, a dual, re uh, dual delay, if you can yeah. hear. So this is basically the Echo Park, isn't it? It uh, is. As you were saying, yeah. You are right. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I remember looking into it. have modulation on all of these so oh. modulation on reverse reverb on no uh, reverse delay
That's all right. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. That sounds awesome, man. I am quite happy with I think my you, rig. You could quite easily gig with that. I can't imagine um, anything that this rig couldn't do. To no. be honest, I'm happy. That's got yeah. <sighs> this is my best shot. I gave it my best shot. I'm happy, even though you beat me on the guitar. I think you could yeah, you I'm could happy. spend so much more money, and uh, like on other gear. Oh, basically. Yeah. But this is what we're trying to prove, isn't it? That you don't necessarily the, have to. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I mean, it's quite a. Uh, it's quite a shallow, um, like the amount of money you have to put in to get only a slight improvement. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's it's a uh, yeah. It's like once you hit a certain point, the more money you throw at it, you only kind of get like the returns are ever diminishing. It's the yes, yeah. that's the words I'm yeah. looking for. Diminishing returns. It's mm. uh, yeah. There's plenty of videos online about all that kind of <laughs> stuff. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we, we don't need to go into that. No, no. The the the. Uh, uh, um, amount of gear that is available though these days. I mean, I'm sure you can remember as well. Like when you first started playing guitar, like what was what was there available to buy? Barely anything. Like literally, literally in the last ten years. Yeah. Like in uh, especially with pedals. Like I mean, I remember like ten years ago, it was like if you couldn't afford like your your sort of your bosses and your EHXs, you know, you, if you couldn't sort of break into the Hmm. The sort of fifty to one hundred quid bracket. There, there was literally only Behringer. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know, uh, and, Dan made, Electro. and some of the Dan Electro yeah, stuff. Some not of all stuff. of it. It was kind of. And then maybe some like really, really weak Japanese or Chinese. Th kind there of weren't even that many of those stuff. around. Like, really, barely anything. <laughs> Like well, I, well, I don't know. There, there was a few. I remember the first. You, well, because the internet wasn't as like yeah. big of a thing. Like eBay wasn't a thing, and, and whatever. <laughs> you couldn't even get to those. They probably had them over there, but you couldn't get them yeah. over here. Maybe. I, don't know. I, don't know, I remember the first pedal I had. It was, it was a phaser. It was given to me by our friend Andy. Yes. Um, you know, many many years ago, and it was it was by a band called e, a brand called EMA. Like EMA. Okay. I've never ever heard of them before or since. <laughs> they just made that one. Thing. Yeah, it was actually quite good. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. It was like black and purple. It like it was quite cool. Nice. There's all but I don't, but I don't know stuff. whether I had it, whether it was good or whether I just had nothing else to compare it to. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, I mean, like the so, like the last ten years, the whole pedal market it's has just it, yeah. exploded. That's basically. the good thing about having so much choice yeah. is it does bring the prices down because there's a lot of mm. competition. With um, stuff which is good as well, yeah, and cheap. My first guitar, for instance. I mean, this is by this is by far and away, at the moment, the worst guitar in my collection. <laughs> um, there's definitely there's stuff that I've put together myself mm. that plays better than this. Um, but it sounds great and it looks great, I think. Um, yeah. And it, yeah, I'm sure with a little bit more attention, it would probably play great as well. Just a slightly better setup. Yeah, Maybe. so all it needs is just a little bit more tweaking, totally fine, uh, yeah. and it would be pretty much there. Uh, well, compare that with like the first guitar I ever had, and that was unplayable. <laughs> I, I've no idea how I learnt on that thing at all. I did, obviously didn't know any better at the time. I was just yeah, like, yeah. Muddled, muddled along uh, with that thing, um, and then it wasn't until I got my first Epiphone a couple of years later on, uh, played that for ages, and then when I tried to pick up my older first guitar, I was like, what the heck? How did I play this? Like, this yeah. is awful. Uh, you know, so yeah, it's it's amazing these days yeah. what you can get. And you know, what, what qualifies as bad these days is like... Like 10, 15 years ago would have been incredible. Oh, yeah. It's like my first time, you know, I had one of those... Gibson Mar Custom like, yeah. Shop level. Yeah, I had one of those Marshall MG30 oh. things and like... I had one of those, not the 30, but yeah, the MG yeah, series. It was, it, it, you know what? It wasn't terrible. No. It was, it was one of the better amps that was available yeah. on that budget I, in yeah. 2003 <laughs> <laughs> or 2002. Yeah. You, know, were, I, you could have done a lot worse, but like, it, it, like compared to the stuff you can get now, it doesn't for even. the same price. You can't there compare. There is just no comparison. Absolutely. Yeah. Shall we do your rig? Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> So, um, I need to sort of talk about the amp 
Okay, so essentially what you've got here is that you've got these dials, you've got stomp boxes, and you've got amp, mm. and you've got effects. So the, the stomp boxes, you know, they're kind of meant to emulate different stomp boxes, obviously. You've, like, okay. there's, a, there's a very ch there's one which is close to a tube screamer. There's one which is called a mog. A mog? Yeah. Oh, pog. Which is like a pog. <laughs> yeah. It does a pretty bad impression of a pog. <laughs> it, be can't be, it can't be much worse than this, because the pitch is um, pretty bad. And then uh, the amps. Uh, so I'm I'm on twin at the moment. I've based... Fender twin, Yeah, I'm so guessing. it's meant to be like a Fender twin. Right. Uh, Even though it, it only does, has one speaker. Yeah. Which it, is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> It does like a, a Marshall y type thing, like a Vox y type thing. Oh, nice. If you press that, I'm on the clean for all of these, it, it goes right the way through to like real high you gain. You can press them as well. The yeah, you, some of these buttons you can press. So, oh. for instance, I'm on. That's so cool. So, that then becomes like the dirty channel of said amp. Right. Uh, you notice it much more if I go on to, say, Brit. Which is meant to be like a box, I think. Um, I haven't really dialed this in, but <laughs> oh. oh, it's suddenly died. What is going on? Oh, I keep doing it. Oh, there we are. <laughs> we'll just edit that. <laughs> and then back That's to all right. clean. Yeah, it's not bad. But yeah, I've, Twin was kind of like the best kind of platform yeah. to kind of uh, I'll make show it off. I'm so that's that's already sort of. And you've got some inputs on the front as well, there auxiliary inputs. Uh, yeah, you can play along to stuff. Headphones. Headphone out. It's got a, oh, that's useful. I record out as well. Yeah. Uh, tap tempo for the delay. That's ace. There's something called an edit mode, which I don't actually know what that does. Ooh, okay. Um, Is that something to do with presets? Like, if you've got the foot switch, maybe? Might be. I'm not sure. I would have thought it probably would be um, something like saving settings. Well, no, because you do that with these controls. Oh. With the banks. Um, oh, I don't know them. So, anyway, so, yeah, so basically, on the, the twin mode, this is like your, your clean, I've kind of set it to. You can save... Um, Four presets across three banks. So essentially, you can make like 12 patches. Right. Uh, like, so com different combinations of amps and effects. Because mm -hmm. you've got the effects here as well, which is kind of based on rack mount type stuff, I think. Okay. So, um, oh, and there's also a looper. Did I mention uh, that? You did not. There's yeah. a looper on this as well. With, yeah. But I don't know if you can access the looper without the foot switch or not. I don't <laughs> think you can. I think you need the yeah. The, you need the foot switch to access it on this, which is part okay. of the reason I really wanted to get the foot switch. Right, got you. Um, That's great. So yeah, so this is like my. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the different patches that I've made using the different effects. I kind of thought was like the best way of okay showing this off. So so this is the first one. It's just clean. <laughs> volume pedal that's great so then patch two <laughs> now within this patch I'm on I think I'm on like the dirty Vox uh, amp and also, I've got the Tube Screamer stomp box. So okay. If, so you can switch the stomp boxes on and off. No. Yeah, but uh, it's a little bit of a faff. So this is, so stomp box off. So say you're playing a, a song like, I don't know, Last Night by The Strokes, for instance. Yeah. You're sort of going like. And then you want to break into the solo. That's ace, man. Yeah. <laughs> I really like it. Really great. <laughs> um, so patch three, uh, which I made with the fuzz. Great. 
great. That's really great. And then uh, patch four, I think. What did I do with this? So this is like a fuzz octave thing that okay. I did, which I thought might be fun. Is there a gate on that as well, or is it just really quiet? Uh, I'd, I'd probably just set it a bit quiet. Okay. But I, that's I, a really nice sound. There does appear to be some kind of gate within it. Within it, uh, I have noticed that it kind of cuts off sometimes, like. Um, when you're not playing, it just seems to go dead. Okay. But, yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to keep the volume down, but... It does have a very quick... Yeah. Like, <laughs> end to, like, the, the sound, like, yeah. when you stop playing. Uh, oh, I, should really probably, I should probably mention the wire as well. Um, oh, yeah. So, uh, with the wire, you just press down on the... The treble thing. Yeah, and it's quite. I have to stand up to do you it. Can't see any of this. It's, this is just. It's really <laughs> stiff. <laughs> like, Shall I aim? The have I got it? <laughs> If you're standing up, yeah. If you're standing up, that's a lot um, easier to do. You can also do with the pitch shift as well. I'm this interested to hear what this to is like. Use it a little bit when I start messing. I really want to hear what this, how how uh, terrible, terrible this is. Not a terrible, <laughs> how good or bad. It's, it's okay. That's still on one for some reason. Because I've gone into the, a different bank. Oh, okay. We can edit it. So so it. Uh, it's not terrible. No. It's not. It doesn't sound like a whammy. No. But you can uh, it's alter. Like a, it's got a blend on it, hasn't it? Like your yeah, theory. you can alter the parameters of it. Um, Sounds so much better than this, yeah. I would say. <laughs> it's much better at the low octave than it is the high one. Okay. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty and sure. And you, you were messing with the dial. I'm guessing that's you're setting yeah, the you low can... point and the high point. I'm not. Or not. I'm not sure what it's okay. doing. I've got to be honest with you. <laughs> Um, so yeah, now we're just back to volume, so I think I have to put that back on bypass, I think. Okay. I think. So anyway, yeah, so moving on. Um, so uh, how do I get to a different bank now? It's, um, uh, yeah, well, bank. There's a lot of tap dancing on. going yeah. on down here. You can get a much bigger version of this pedal, which I think makes it easier. I can imagine, yeah, yeah. having that. Uh, yeah, here we are. As a nice spring reverby kind of uh, yeah, it's surf. A, a little bit of reverb and a, a slap back delay, so you can do like a kind of a shadowsy. Um... Yeah. Yeah. You know, you that get, that you guitar get style just looks like it lends itself to that exactly. kind of thing immediately. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember how to play it. He's a legend. Yeah, a, a, a living legend. Yeah, my guitar teacher is to blame. Um, <laughs> had to learn a lot of that stuff. Uh, so as, as good as as good as all of this is, Ben. Yes. I, I, I think it's uh, the elephant in the room. Is that we don't neither of us bought a worm. <laughs> yeah. Well, what, what were we thinking? I mean, 
I mean, yeah, it's noisy, but at least it's analog. At least it's analog, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I just say? I, can I just say? I once had a word, uh, an EHX <laughs> original word. Ninety pounds. Yeah. <laughs> Ninety pounds, Ben. Yeah, I can't remember how much it cost me. It was about ten years ago. Ninety. I pl- it came with the power supply, the correct power supply. I plugged it. <laughs> I, pl- I plugged it in, <laughs> uh, and honestly, the hiss. It was I. I. I thought someone was running the shower in the next room. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving swiftly on. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, sorry for that. I had to uh, so make made, that observation. Yeah. I made like a, a patch with like a longer delay just to sort of show that off, like. Um... <laughs> sounding reverse delay than what I had in here. Although yeah. I was on the tape mode, I was had I had a reverse. I've realised now. Well, well I, I always try and dial, sort of dial it in so that it actually just sounds like each note is going backwards. Yeah. Well, that's it. what I was trying I, yeah. to do with mine, but as I say, I didn't. Uh, I was. I should have probably gone the digital mode rather than yeah. the tape mode. I think I, I put this on the, the Vox as well to sort of get like a. Sort of, that's a great that sound. Kind of Beatlesy. Um, yeah, like, psychedelic thing. <laughs> Yeah, I really liked it. <laughs> That's really cool. Uh, what's this one? Wow. Uh, wow. No, it's an envelope filter. Oh, okay. Which I put a short delay with as well. Oh, okay. And so, um... That's great. Yeah. <laughs> That's really great. It's a fun sound. Yeah. Uh, Getting your quack on. Yeah, so uh, bank three. Uh, oh, th- yeah, this is. Uh... So we've got a little bit of delay, tremolo, and phaser. Sounds nice if you fade it in. There was a specific Arctic Monkeys song I was trying to sort of model it after. Okay. Um, um, yeah, that sounds amazing. It's alright, isn't That's it? really it's good. Bad. It's making me wish I'd spent a bit more time like designing my own kind of patches <laughs> for this rather than well, just be I, like, hey, hey look, this is what I got. <laughs> I kind of thought this was the best way of sort of showing off its capabilities. Yeah, you planned um, for this a bit more than I did. I just got the idea, I was like, oh, the app, the app can uh, show itself off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is just chorus and reverb. Okay. So uh, if you fancy spending the afternoon pretending that you're Johnny Marr in the Smiths. <laughs> such a foolish mistake. I know somebody who would definitely like that sound. Yeah. Um, I was quite impressed with that. I that like sounds it. so good. Yeah. Um, that is really... I'm really, really impressed. <laughs> the chorus took a little bit of dialing in. Okay. It was quite... It, it didn't want to cooperate. <laughs> but, no, that sounds amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? Yeah. PV all this time, like you know, Boss, Blackstar, mm-hmm. you know, all these different companies, you know, just like trying to get their digital yeah. amps, you know, up to a up to a point. And P- back in the two thousands, PV have been at it for years. Yeah, yeah, they're just like quietly, you know, unbeknownst to everyone else, just nailing it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, it's like it's like a better version of like the Line Six. Oh yeah, Spider. absolutely. Oh, um, I, actually, I was going to say because like a lot of the layout and the, mm, the, the, yeah. the chrome knobs and the LEDs and stuff, it does have a very kind of uh, Line Six yeah, feel. Early early Line Six stuff. So this this one is we're getting into the weirder stuff that it does. Okay. I think this is the the Mog, and oh, maybe okay. something else. <laughs> okay. I can't remember what I put with it, but. <laughs> Flange as well. Oh, <laughs> that's great. Yeah, that's weird. And then <laughs> this, it has a ring modulator. Our favourite effect. Yeah. <laughs> Sound bad. It doesn't actually. That's and actually alright. You can get a, there's a surprising amount of range from that. Like I bet. That, that's one of the more usable sounds. Yeah. It can be completely unusable oh, if you want it to be. Absolutely, I'm sure. But yeah, so that's Mate. pretty much everything. I you mean, it, have it, done amazingly well. There's all the high gain stuff as well, which um, oh, I've confused it. But, um, <laughs> Well, yeah, I've confused it. Can I say I'm extremely proud of us? I think we have completely taken this challenge by the scruff of its neck. Yeah. And <laughs> we, yeah, we have smashed it. I think. I, I, that, I think we've yeah. done a great job. So do I. I don't think there are any winners. Or I was going to say, yeah, it's like, oh, this wasn't even the real a winners are the gear. It's yes. The gear. The winners are you. Yeah. <laughs> for watching this four hour <laughs> epic. <laughs> How long is this going to be? It's like 10 minute intro. I did a 20 minute vlog. You did a 10 minute vlog. I think we're, we're approaching two hours, maybe. <laughs> you just lucky this people. This, this is our Ben Hur, you know. <laughs> our epic. <laughs> yeah. If uh, anyone sits through to the end, you know, they deserve a medal. Oh, but man. I, I think I'll probably timestamp this. This is going to stand out um, so much in our like channel list. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, video list. It's, yeah, I, I think we've done pretty well. I think the ideal setup, I think, would be this guitar with that amp. I was gonna say that. Yeah, yeah like that with this would be the best of like, both worlds. As, I think. as versatile and as loud as this well, is, how, I guess, the sound how, quality just isn't right anywhere near. As well, no, I would say it's close. I, uh, oh yeah. I would say you know what I would say, maybe. It only comes down to like the quality of the speakers. Probably. Yeah. I would say it's probably the only thing because mm. I'd say the effects and stuff wise that easily keeps up with this mm. I would say um, but I would say like uh, the atmosphere and everything of this having two speakers as well yeah. obviously will give it, true, gives you yeah. a lot more like uh, ambience and the headroom and stuff like a, a louder volume especially yeah. you'd be able to like you could easily fill a venue but yeah like you were saying before this is loud like what's the volume on like barely anything yeah like, like that's pl <laughs> yeah. that's plenty loud enough for most situations. Yeah. Well, I know, uh, I mean, I haven't even gotten into like the high gain sort of Messer imitation. Oh, it's got some Messer stuff in there as yeah, well. Yeah, well, I think so. <sighs> I love sure. I but, love Messer. But uh, I haven't even got into that because, I mean, we've said before, neither of us are a, a, a metal edge, you know. Yeah. We wouldn't we, even know what makes good yeah, metal we, tone. We, we, you know? <laughs> we wouldn't do it justice. But I do, when I was looking up videos on uh, sort of how to configure the foot switch and what have you, I did notice this was. A lot of metally people were quite into this amp. It seemed. Yeah. So I'm okay. guessing it sounds all right for it. Maybe that's why I've not really paid much attention yeah, maybe, to, to PV because yeah. I, I think PV, oh, that's a metal kind of mm. uh, brand or something or. Whatever. Yeah. But no, that's um, that's been this has been fun, and I think we've done yeah, a really uh, good job. We've proved a point. We have. I think it several have, times. It may have taken us hours. Can I just? But yeah, sorry. It is noise. Actually. Yeah, that's just that background <laughs> noise. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. I. I think you and I think we. Yeah, we both managed to uh, achieve the same thing, but we've kind of come at it slightly different angles, yeah. perhaps. Uh, yeah, but at this price, you can't not go digital, nah. can you? Let's be honest here. Nah, it's just it has to. It has to be done. But I mean, I I don't think that digital has the same kind of stigma it used to. Like, no, I think it's a lot of it is so good now that it's yeah. I mean, at the end, there are people that can hear these differences and pick out like, oh, there's a there's a latency with that digital amp, and I can hear it, and I can't play with it. And but at the end of the day, enough, you know, you think if that is you, 
Yeah, but at the end of the day, you know, your audience isn't going to care. This is my point. Yeah, that's yeah. where I was going. It's like ultimately, yeah. If you, I mean, if you can hear it and it bothers you, you're obviously not going to play your best. So it makes sense to to go a route that you're happy with. And then if you're happy with your playing and what your what your sound is, then obviously that's going to come through in your playing, and then your audience will appreciate it more. But um, if you don't have that mentality where you don't have that if you don't have the ears <laughs> that are good yeah. enough to pick out all that kind of stuff why would you do anything other than just you know uh digital mm. amp modeling and everything it's just the future it's fine it's the future yeah. it's, <laughs> it's where it's all headed yeah. and it's uh it's only going to improve and get better and better yeah. i mean the stuff that you can get like on a ridiculous budget it's yeah imperceivable from analog stuff yeah anyway we've said enough it sounds exactly the same just with less hiss <laughs> yeah <laughs> but then people are like oh, i like the hiss we are gonna get flamed in the comments <laughs> for this like if anyone watches to this uh, point yeah in fact, i think we could probably get away with saying some really controversial uh, yeah, stuff gonna, now if we put no something one is gonna get to this if point. we put something really really uh <laughs> inflammatory at the end right at this point <laughs> yeah. and then end the video then it's like <laughs> that's the true test of whether you actually watch the whole video or yeah. not like what the comments are like we just like <laughs> okay i we, think we should yeah yeah we we should, let's not do up. that yeah Anyway, thank you very much. If you did watch the whole thing, yeah, good on you. You deserve uh, a heart. We should actually, if you did watch the whole thing, leave a comment at the end. Leave a comment below. Uh, what should they say? Some ridiculous word. Pineapples. Yeah. <laughs> Put pineapples in a comment <laughs> below the video to let us know that you watched the whole thing. Yeah. Um, unless you skipped to the end and just saw that. Oh, I better put that. Uh, anyway. <laughs> We're slightly losing the plot. Um, <laughs> this has been so much fun. It I've has. really enjoyed doing this. Hopefully you enjoyed it as well and took something away, yeah. learnt something. Uh, if it inspired you, maybe, to put a, a similar rig mm. together for yourself. Um, maybe we'll do it again. Maybe. With maybe. A, with a bigger budget, maybe. That might be interesting. Yeah, I'll have to start saving now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a... We're never going to be able to do a money no object. No. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, these are two very, very giggable rigs yeah for under 200 pounds each uh so yeah in your face <laughs> <laughs> to yeah, everyone it's... who said it couldn't be done <laughs> uh yes indeed take yeah. care everyone bye, -bye. thanks for watching bye, -bye. bye. <laughs>